Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the council and conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Muin, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Muin, Master Dandelion? Your humble servant and chronicler was forced to flee the Pontar Valley, as he very well might have paid with his life for his heroic stand against King Henselt. And to allow oneself to be humbly slaughtered, consigning to oblivion this account of incredible events, would be a grave transgression against the arts and letters. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Muin my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Muin where he could finally give vent to it. Has Radovid's messenger been by? Yes, sir. And what did he say? Tamaria cannot survive. The kingdom will be divided. The nobles are riled. Constable Natalis stands on shaky ground. <laughs> the loyal old Natalis will get kicked in the ass. How predictable. And they nearly reached an agreement, but without Voltaire's daughter, it didn't work out. Perfect. Are the quarters ready? There is a little problem. Then we must look at this problem. There's no door. We can't lock her in a doorless cell. I can see that, you fool. Out of my way! Uncle Deathmold will cast a tiny spell on your little house. Vasa Anem. Nilfgaard's most precious gift. Ah. Ah. Clear up in here. This is Loch Muin, not a bloody pigsty. Ah, <laughs> oh, bollocks, Geralt. Marshal Rorpenek was a cruel, bloodthirsty prick, true. But the times were different. He had his men murder every last elf in Loch Muin. For years, Jorveth and his ilk have been using that banner to wipe their asses clean of the shit they do. In wartime, a commander's forced to make all kinds of decisions. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm sure it lay really heavily on Robinick's conscience. Bollocks again. I've already admitted he was a prick. Are you defending the Enche? They've got barrels of blood on their hands as well. With the Vrans gone, we had to safeguard this source of the power, safeguard this historic city. Huh, <laughs> elven drivel. Heaps of lizard-like bones were found in nearby caves, all bearing traces of sword cuts. Uh, I think what you will. I'm more interested in the city's current inhabitants. Why am I worried you're going to do something really stupid once we get there? Above all, I'll find the cure to my suffering. Deathmold was just a pawn in Henselt's hands. Deathmold is a bloody murderer, and Henselt was a king. A king I killed. He didn't believe I'd do it till the very end. Nor did I. It's not something I want to discuss again. I don't know if I'll ever strike those images from my mind, but I know I don't want to talk about it. Taking revenge on Deathmold won't change a thing. Oh, but it will. The ghosts of my comrades will drink to my health. Blue Stripes were more than a fighting force. I selected and trained those members. True, they were <laughs> and bad.
Damn it, Geralt. We've got to hurry. This is the last place I'd expect to see Knights of the Flaming Rose. They're here with Radovid. After losing their foothold in Temeria, they rebuilt their position at the Redanian court. You best stay out of sight. You never know with those bigots. Yeah, we also had a little disagreement recently. They could be holding a grudge. I'll explain that your presence in Loch Muin is necessary. What now? What can we expect to see in the city? Separate camps, buffer zones, and frequent patrols. Well, that's how it should be organized if those mages from the Conclave have any sense. Ah, another area of your expertise. The Peace of Sintra was signed on April the 2nd, and all around was quiet, calm, and orderly. If you don't count Hensel's roars and the all-night festivities of the Mahakam Volunteer Army, and the common folk were positively thrilled with the parade that followed. Yet, not one of those fuckers even knew that I, and a few others like me, spent a week Poring over the city map and devising a way to keep those crowned idiots separate, just in case one decided to deal the next blow in a long standing feud. In any case, I hope to see something similar here. Relax. The mages want royal gold. They'll make sure all the sources of financing remain alive and present, at least until the inevitable quarrel over the Pontar Valley breaks out. Well, we'll see if there is indeed a way where there's a will. If we're separated, we'll meet up again in the main square. Fine. Halt! Who goes there? Vernon Roach and Geralt of Rivia, in the service of Temeria. Faltest's killer in the service of Temeria? Faltest's killer is in Loch Muin. Geralt of Rivia will help me capture him. I couldn't give a pig's ass who killed Foltest, but this bastard raised his hand against the Order, and I'll not let him pass. In that case, I'll walk in over your dead body, brother. Bear in mind that peace negotiations are underway behind those walls. I'll have no blood spilt here. Why are the Knights of the Order of the Flaming Rose here? We're here on the invitation of His Majesty King Radovid. Radovid can invite anyone he wants to Redania. Problem is, this isn't Redania. Questioning the King's will. If Radovid invited you here, why are you encamped outside the city? We're not part of the official delegation. Well, we're on our way to an official audience with King Radovid. He's expecting us. So stand aside. Looks like Radovid doesn't believe the peace talks will end peacefully. You can be sure of one thing. Not a soul is to be trusted in this city. Not a soul to be trusted any time, anywhere, period. We need Geralt to assess the situation. Whoever stationed the knights at Lockwind's gates is likely to know the most and to have the upper hand. I'm going to the Redanian camp. If you want to look around, I'll meet you near Radovid's headquarters. All right. I don't believe you killed Foltest. 
I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Company fall in. Tension! Know what the tension means? Ready for your chat with Radovid. No reason to delay it. Follow me then. Aye, sir. Where are you from? From Berka, Commander. You got shot at the Halt! We're here to meet King Radovid. Have you been granted an official audience? We have information about the Kingslayers. Everyone knows the killer is the Witcher from Rivia. Then everyone is wrong. Not my concern. I cannot risk placing the King of Redania in harm's way. We bring Radovid news that will strengthen his position during the talks. Care to risk his wrath? Besides, this camp is swarming with soldiers. We'd have to be stupid or suicidal to attack Radovid. Hmm. Pass, then. 
if your news is so important. But one word from the king and you'll hang. Both of you. Don't you worry about us. Tamaria stands little chance of surviving if Radovid has made terms with Kedwin. Even less if he's made a pact with Nilfgaard. He and the Emperor could divide the entire north between them. I take pleasure in seeing Kedwin picked apart. But they'd start with the country deepest in chaos. Get so you'd best hope nothing of that sort has happened. Did you request an audience with the King? Yes. The King will receive you. Geralt of Rivia. Your Majesty. As usual, you turn up where and when you're least expected. And in such company. I never thought they'd make a soldier out of you. Vernon Roach is a friend. He's in uniform, sure. But that's meaningless. The world has changed greatly since we met those few months ago. Temeria stands at the brink of civil war. Kedwin has taken the Pontar Valley by force, and a Nilfgaardian delegation plays a prominent role at the summit of the Northern Kingdoms. Voltest and Demavend are both dead. Though it seems we were signing treaties just yesterday. Henselt was butchered in Vergen. I've come here for help, Your Majesty. Wait, Witcher. Were it not for you, Hensalt would have perished at the hands of an assassin. Am I right? My reputation precedes me yet again. From soldier to soldier, from whores to barons, right up to the royal ears. I killed a would-be assassin. Pure coincidence, I just happened to be there. Things like that oft seem to happen to you. Do you know how he died? I wasn't there. The first lie of the day, and the negotiations have yet to begin. How can I help you if you're not honest with me? I killed him. Henselt had Roach's unit murdered. I can't call it anything else. In doing that, he signed his own death sentence. When he was looking for Saskia in Vergen after the battle, I cornered him in a hut and I killed him. What about Deathmold? He followed orders and deserves the same. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. You said you needed help, Witcher. Tell me more. Sheila de Tanzerville is behind the murderers that hit Tamaria, Edern, and Kedwin. How do you know? I don't have any proof, but it's her. You've got to believe me, Your Majesty. A witch's word is not quite enough. We killed one of them in Edern. Deathmold used his magic to give me a glimpse of the past. I saw the assassin talking to others. They spoke of Sheila. One mage's magic shows another's guilt. And it's no ordinary magic, but the forbidden path of necromancy. It all makes sense. Shillard Fitzestelin warned me about a plot. Apparently, Triss Merigold confessed to him that the sorceresses had set up a secret lodge. Triss is working with Shillard? She's been detained as a suspect. Shillard believes the sorceresses of Nilfgaard were also part of the conspiracy. Luckily, the entire amphitheater is under a spell that quells any magic. Otherwise, no one would dare go near all those mages. Well, the talks beckon. Everyone wants to see Tamaria's bitter end. What do you mean by that, Your Majesty? The nobles are rebelling in Vizima. Lacking a ruler, they simply want to divide the kingdom into provinces. Divide Tamaria! Shame on the traitors! Well, it doesn't have to be that way. Anais, the daughter of Louisa and Foltest, lives still. After the Baroness's rebellion, 
The girl was captured by the Nilfgaardians. The child has become a bargaining chip between the Empire and Kedwin. My people tell me Anais is here in Loch Muin, in Deathmold's hands. I cannot mount an armed attack on the Kedwenis. It would be tantamount to declaring war, and we have gathered here to maintain peace. A lone witcher and a former soldier. That would be a different matter. Bring me Anais, Geralt, and I'll salvage a united Temeria, and punish those whose hands are stained with the Temerian King's blood. Why does Deathmold need Foltest's daughter? The girl has become entirely dependent on him, which will strengthen his position in the Conclave. Remember, he who has Anais will have the upper hand today. The girl is most important, Witcher. I denounce our engagement and make her queen of Redania and Temeria. The nobles of Vizima would greet her on bended knee, and the North would emerge stronger than ever. I must attend these talks, Geralt. Time is short. Bring me the girl, the two of you. Men without country or commander. Renegades that no one seems to have taken into account. I, in turn, promise that Shilla de Tanzerville will pay for her deeds. I shall punish her with fire and steel. An alliance with Redania is our only chance of preserving Temeria's independence. It's still risky. Anais, she's the key. I still wonder about Boosie's death. The boy would have had a stronger claim to the throne. Maybe Anais can tell us something. It's high time we visited our old friend, Deathmole. The Emperor's men hold Triss. They'll get everything they can out of her, after which she'll be dispensable. If it's between the Sorceress's life and Temeria's future, then I've no choice. I'm sorry. This is no place to talk. Let's wait till we're beyond the gate. What's he doing here? Whoa! Just the person I'd be looking for were I not forced to seek Anais Lavalette. You have much to explain, Brigida Papabrock. Oh no. You'll not pin this on me. I trusted you and you sent me into a den of vipers. Vipers! Another vess? This is no time for pleasantries, Geralt. Calm yourself, Brigida. You were to watch Foltest's children. I saw nothing dangerous in the task. Obviously I was wrong, but I need your help. Anais has been kidnapped. Boosie is likely dead. I need to know how this happened. I need to know the details. You knew well what you were getting me into. You know that entire rotting bunch. The Count, the Baron. Not half as well as you do, my dear. Who were those men? Not so fast, Roach. I have been hiding in this city for three days, scurrying about like a rat. They're hunting me. I'll not let you leave me here. What do you propose? Escort me out of the city, to the river. What will that get you? I expected I would need to fend for myself. I've secured passage. Take me there, and I will tell you all. It's a long way. You've a traitor in your camp, Roach. Perhaps more than one. What happened to Foltest's bastards is no series of coincidences. It's the result of a clever, treacherous game. Damn it all! Geralt, I need to look to Anais, learn how we're to get to her. But Brigida might know what happened to Boosie. Thus far, we've heard nothing but rumors. Take her to the river. Right, Roach. I'll help you this one last time. I'll search for a back way into the Kedwenny camp. You're forgetting. I came here for Triss. Whatever you decide to do later, so be it. But a traitor in the Temerian camp threatens us all. Escort Brigida, learn what she can. 
I'd thank you, Roach, if you weren't such a shit. I'm counting on you, Geralt. Brigida must get to her destination safely. Good luck, Roach. Which way are we headed? We shall leave Loch Muin through the Orders camp. We won't be bothered there. Then we'll descend the mountain path and go on to the river. Who knows what we'll find? I'm expecting someone. Does it matter, Richard? I did mention the right Maravella Blessed be the eternal fire. I guess I have them to thank for an interesting chat Roach and I had a while back. Well. Too early to pry, Witcher. I'll not let you pick my brain and abandon me. The main path leads to the right. That's where they're likely to be waiting. Roach would say they'd be waiting along both paths. Roach, Roach, Roach. You're with me, not him. And I decide for myself. I've agreed to meet someone on the riverbank. We'll go through the wood. Calm thus far. Your dear Roach seems to have been wrong. You two have a history. Or do I have it wrong? He asked a favor of me. I was to stay with Faltist's children, watch them, travel with them if necessary. Child's play, the bastard called it. That's how I wound up in the caravan transporting the children to Loch Muin for the summit. <laughs> yeah, that clearly went sour. Tell me more. Soon enough. We've just got to make it through the forest. It's a short way to the river beyond that. It should be calm. Let's go. It's not far now. Redlin awaits down by the river, at the end of this path. Is Redlin another of Roach's contacts? No, a smuggler. I'd be looking for another way out if he were Roach's man. Stay behind me. It's Roach's bitch! Kill them!
this is the smuggler I spoke of. This was the smuggler you spoke of. Someone's coming. You'll not sail off, you whore! Kill her! <laughs> not have survived on my own. Talk, woman. You've dragged me far away from the city. You owe me an explanation. Who were those men? Who have you been hiding from? I... I don't know. Three days like a rat, you said. And you don't know? I knew. I mean, I had my suspicions. So talk. Tell me about the Vipers. They... they created this storm. Are they working together? I would say they detest one another. Oh, that's what they wish everyone to believe. It's the devil only knows. You know what the Count intends? No, but I cannot imagine anyone more different from Baron Kimbolt. Meaning? I would call him a sheep were his heart not black. He's a jester, an especially nasty one, though I cannot identify his master. He may not even have one. What does Baron Kimbolt want? A strong Temeria, and a strong North. He's obsessed. He believes we're surrounded by rebels and traitors. The Lavalettes, the Maribels. He's probably not alone in that belief. But he is alone in believing that he himself is the remedy for that ailment. The Baron sees himself on the Temerian throne. He claimed he would achieve this by marrying Anais. Isn't she a little young for him? He's a disgusting old setter. He'd be a tyrant were he to don the crown. Seems you got to know the Baron and the Count well. Then there's Roach. Pretty interesting social life, I'd say. Being a courtier, that was no life for me. I thought it terribly dull and found a remedy. Searching for excitement shouldn't get you killed. It's the last time I do anything of the sort. You can't be sure of that. Is Vernon the only person you do favors for? I've never betrayed Temeria, if that's what you ask. What happened to the convoy carrying Anais and Busi? What about the children? We were ambushed. The caravan was destroyed. I need details. We were traveling along the agreed path, with a limited escort so as not to draw attention. The children were in two separate wagons, a safety measure, I was told. Which one were you in? I was with Anais. One day a messenger appeared with orders for the caravan's commander, a change of plans. We turned north to travel a longer route for safety's sake. Soon after the turnoff, we were attacked. Attackers were killing everyone indiscriminately. One pulled me from the wagon, but a bolt pierced his neck. He was mayhem. I ran for the bushes and hid. Did you see what happened to the children? The driver of Busi's wagon was shot. The horses got spooked and ran off into the forest, taking the wagon with them. When the fighting was done, they found Anais still in her wagon. I turned away for fear of what they might do. They nearly grabbed her and fled. Any idea what happened to the caravan commander's orders? I had them. After they took Anais, the bastards were in a hurry. They didn't even think to search the corpses. Take them. Thanks. Sure you can manage that boat? I must. I'll not return to the city. Thank you again, Witcher. And follow this through. You'll do us all a favor.
Wait till I bless you. Wait till I bless you. And to its allies we give. We know you didn't kill him. Light, quench, shit, prince. Where have we... I believe there's been a misunderstanding, my lord. Get out, before I call my guards. And what might I convey? Nothing. Baron, sir, you gave your word. For the last time, out! Tend to this matter. Baron Raven and Kimbolt, I presume. Does that witcher's code of yours exempt you from court etiquette? Does it grant you the right to speak to the Highborn without being asked to do so? I guess I don't need to introduce myself. Oh no. I know who you are. Geralt of Rivia. Fortest's other favorite hound alongside Roach. Not purebred. They say you bring trouble wherever you appear. The convoy carrying Anais and Busi was ambushed. Why? I'd like to know that myself. I've seen your letter to Horst Lubbock, the one in which you ordered him to abandon the planned route. Nonsense! I sent no such letter. The letter bears your seal and signature, Baron. Where is it? That's immaterial just now. If that's the situation, I've said all I have to say. I wrote no such letter. Words come cheap, Baron. I'm finding it hard to believe you. I care little for what you believe. If this letter exists, we are dealing with a forgery. Whoever is behind this has crossed a Tamerian noble and will be duly punished. My scribe will test the letter and confirm what I claim. All right. I'll see what this scribe has to say. There are objective means of examining the letter's authenticity. I promise to pay you well for learning the truth. Hmm. The truth does taste better when payment's involved. Stop looking at me! Be sauced. Nah. Drunker than a bard. Won't get anything out of him. Like a Maybe there's something about testing letters in his notes. I don't know any of these substances. Best not risk destroying the letter. Maybe there's a formula for the activator in the scribe's notes. I need to make the substance that will bring out the dye and apply it to the letter. A little burnt lime. A bit of water. Everything's better with a dash of burnt water. Wait for it to dissolve. Smells like piss, but it worked. The sheet's orange, not blue. The letter's fake. Kimbolt had nothing to do with this. Cormorants! A string of cormorants! Hmm? Slayer. You were right, Baron. The letter's forged. Of course I was right. I would never seek to hurt Boosie. Bastard or not, he is still a child. Your payment, Witcher. 
I want you to look into another matter. What would it involve? Count Linus Maravel. You've heard the name? Young, capable, handsome. Yes. Yes, all that and more. And he's ambitious to a fault. Right after the Temerian delegation arrived in Loch Wien, his people began visiting the Nilfgaardian camp regularly. Are you suggesting Maravel's a traitor? We are all entitled to communicate with the Ambassador without chagrin and openly, as court and diplomatic protocols allow. Yet the Count's multiple messengers, the letters traveling to and fro, it reminds me more of a complicated courtship. You're curious to know the content of those letters. I want you to learn the Count's plans. The man would sell his mother to please the Emperor. Find out what Maravel's messenger is carrying. If treason is involved, you must alert John Metallus. You will be generously rewarded, I assure you. All right, I'll look into it. My lord, we know where they are. What are your orders? Bloody wonderful day. Assemble your men and resolve this once and for all. Gather your gear. We're off to hunt. Master Witcher! What do you want? My lord, the Right Honourable Count Maravel requests the pleasure of your company. He says it's urgent. Seems like everything is these days. Tell the Count I'll think about it. Whoa! said you'd point Hieronymus Lash out to me. Perfect timing. Come with me. One day someone will get you in a dark alley. Lash. Patience, mate. They should be here any minute. I've done my bit. Up to you now. We've got a tail. Stop him. Stop there, white one. What if I don't? Then I'll fucking help you! I'd like to see you try. Consider it done! For the tally!
It's you! Roach may trust you, but I'm not so sure. What do you want? There's a traitor among the Temerians. Careful, Witcher. You'd better have evidence if you plan to accuse someone of treason. Busi and Anais. Yes? You have a traitor in your camp, Constable. I know what the Temerian nobles think of me. They have no love for me and seek to subvert me at every step. And that is how it will stay as long as the throne remains vacant. I'm not talking about you. Count Merivel is responsible for Busi's death and for Anais landing in Kedweni hands. A grave charge, Witcher. This letter clearly shows Count Merivel's men ambushed the convoy carrying Foltest's children. The boy was killed during the assault. They kidnapped Anais and handed her over to the Nilfgaardians. Why? For what amount of gold? For what swathes of land did that tub of lard, dripping with wealth, go so far as to commit treason against the state? I thank you, Witcher. You have done us all no small favor, though the Count's trial will bring its own share of grief. That is the state of affairs, Baron. Count Linus Maravel is a traitor. He has betrayed us, he has betrayed Temeria, he has betrayed the entire North. You have at last seen the light, Constable, and I am content. We must show the Count that even in this trying hour, Temeria remains strong, united. Baron, about that generous reward you mentioned, I'm here to collect. I see I was not wrong about you. A thug for hire, nothing more. It's you! Uh-oh. Cade Mill. You are to guard the camp like it's the Emperor's treasure. Yes. Let's do this. Deathmold is a dead man. I'm guessing you don't have a plan. In fact, I do. We need to kill Deathmold and rescue the royal child. You never did like playing it by ear. I learned from the best. See that? 
Death Mold's put up that magic barrier again. Apparently not a single sound seeps through. I dread to think what he's doing inside. Why are you here? We have business with Death Mold. The sorcerer is busy. No one's to disturb him. Recognize me? Should we? Of course you should. Unless you don't care about being promoted. <laughs> Who are you? Now! This is my banquet. I don't want any unwanted guests. Quickly, up top! Help me up! The low road's yours. I'll take the walls. Close that cursed gate! Tighter! Tighter! Defend the passage! Hang on! I've nearly unblocked it! I killed them all! Ready, Geralt!
Get him! There is one crime that all civilizations consider irredeemable and unforgivable. Regicide. A transgression of laws both human and divine. A blow to the vital organs of society. That is why those in power create bloody havoc and wallow in it. They are never punished. Not subject to moral judgments, they stand above the law. Henselt's blood now stains Roach's hands and mine. I could have stopped him, but I didn't want to. Now Henselt is a cold corpse, and the blue stripes in the world beyond are laughing.
Did you see Radovid's retinue? I swear the snot-nosed lad thinks he's king of the world. He should never have shown up here after the recent events in Redania. Honestly, if he grows to be another Vizimir, I hope he ends up like the first. And those robes of his, did you see? <sighs> All right, there's time for one more. Hands off. You've broken my arm! <laughs> You've broken my arm! Do you know it's worth, you son of a bitch? Now it's worth shit like the rest of you. <laughs> what do you want? I'll give you anything. You can't give back what you took from me. Cutting off your balls and slitting your throat will have to do. No! You reap what you sow. Mercy! He falls me! Are you all right? I am Vernon Roach of Temeria. This is Witcher Geralt. She's terrified. If Deathmold touched her, I'll kill the son of a bitch all over again. What'll you do with the child, Vernon? I made an arrangement with Radovid, and Vernon Roach always keeps to his word. Kings only keep their promises when it suits them. We saw him together. You heard what he said. You didn't have Anais then. Now you do. Take a minute. Consider your options. I'm a soldier, not a diplomat. Well, you need to start thinking like a diplomat. You're about to decide Tamaria's future. What would Radovid gain by allowing Tamaria to remain independent? He'll marry Anais and unite the two kingdoms. Anais is not of age. But she will be. The kingdoms united could even resist Nilfgaard. Anais won't don the crown anytime soon. A lot could happen in the meantime. A lot could change. True enough, but you can't predict everything. Still, it might be worth trying. What else could you do? Nothing. I either break my pledge to Radovid or honor it. Suppose you break it. I'll make another enemy. Enemies are something you can handle. You said so yourself. The Temerian delegation is in Loch Muin. Maybe we should consider handing the child over to them. John Natalis. Good soldier, poor politician. Natalis may not be the most polished diplomat, but both your grandmothers tilled the same soil. Your grandfathers fought side by side. By taking the child to John Natalis, I'll spark a civil war. The barons won't acknowledge her right to the throne until they feel a boot on their neck. I don't doubt Radovid will bring the Temerian barons in line. Question is, will he stop there? It's risky, I know. But when I'm to choose between civil war and an uncertain alliance with Redania, I choose the latter. Temeria's got a mess to clear, but in its own backyard. The neighbors needn't help. You've convinced me. Radovid will have to consolidate his power without me. Come, child. I'll take you to a safe place. Hmm. Looks like someone's provided an escort. In the name of King Radovid, we demand that you hand over the child of Louisa Lavalette. We're headed elsewhere. Not my concern. My orders are clear. We are not Radovid's subjects. His orders don't apply to us. If you won't come peacefully... Look around before you threaten us again, you fool. Yeah. Hide in the building.
So, to the Temerian camp? We've lost a lot of time. The talks have probably begun. Come, child. At least that scumbag is no longer among the living. Only I know who killed Henselt. Death molds different. Remember, he had many powerful friends. Geralt, damn you. Where are you going? Come back. As head of the special forces, I've always had powerful foes. Somehow, I managed to deal with them. You never know how the Temerians will receive Anais. She's of royal blood. That should be enough. Many in Temeria believe the bloodline ended with full test. What are you trying to tell me? That some of your countrymen may already see themselves as the founders of a new dynasty. If you want to find me, I'll be at the talks. See you, Vernon. Is an attack. King Radovid will learn of this. And crystal balls. Break your wands and burn your. Constable John Natalis. Interex John Natalis. This will be a great moment. Ready? Let's get this done. Temeria is internally divided. As Constable of Temeria, I'm in no position to speak for the whole country regarding the Council and the Conclave. I am honored to speak on Temeria's behalf before this esteemed body. But I'm only the Constable. I cannot be sure some Baron won't cancel my signature in a week. What's your point, Constable? I lack my country's support regarding the Council and the Conclave. Neither do I intend to seek the Crown, for I've lesser blood in my veins. And, as a soldier, I know my place in the ranks. In recent weeks, we have deliberated extensively in Vizima on who is to succeed to the Temerian throne. Because the fate of Foltest's last child remains unknown, we could not reach an agreement. Unable to reconcile the interests of the esteemed Temerian houses, we have no choice but to divide the country into provinces along the barony's current borders. Noble attendees, I ask you to forget the words I uttered mere moments ago. Behold, Anaïs Lavalette. 
royal blood courses through her veins. She is the rightful heir to the Temerian throne. This child is a bastard. The girl will go to Vizima, where she will be presented to the nobility. She is yet too young to rule, but our laws of succession make provision for such cases. Do you think the child will ever sit on the Temerian throne? The Talus won't let her be harmed. We did all we could. To the matter at hand. The document describing the Charter of the Council and the Conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the Charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the Conclave and its power to designate royal advisers. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous Conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The Conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the Conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed as well as by all but one of the designated advisers. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you shall be allowed to designate advisers to cowherds at most. That is true, Your Majesty. My kings, before you sign this document, please hear me out. Excellency, with all due respect, this matter does not concern Nilfgaard in the least. I am here at King Hensel's bidding. Will you deny my right to speak? What is the meaning of this? This man tried to kill me this morning. He attempted to take an Imperial envoy's life in your lands. I presume he was interrogated. He confessed. Faltest and Demeven died by his hand. He also revealed the identity of his employers. Sorceresses. They helped me with my assassinations. Speak on. The Lodge of Sorceresses sought to remove those rulers who acted against the will of mages. Lodge of Sorceresses. We have compiled a list. Philippa Eilhart, Margarita Loantil, Tris Merigold, Kira Metz, Francesca Finderbear, Ida Emin, and finally, Sheila de Tanzaville. To my deepest regret, two Nilfgaardian sorceresses, Sira Val Anahid and Fringa de Vigo, were also members. The Emperor will deal with them accordingly. Your Majesty, what's the meaning of this? Arrest them all. Your document will have to wait, honorable sorceress. You have no right. Surrender now if you don't want another massacre, this time in Loch Muin. A court of law will reveal the traitors.
cut off! I can't get through! Sheila! You must get Sheila! Turn back while you can, Witcher. You can't stop me, not you, not anyone else. If I have to, I will kill you. You're late. I've already managed to stabilize the portal. You've got nowhere to run. Sooner or later, somebody will find you. I prefer to leave on my own terms. Where's Letho? Sir Synthesis will tend to him, as she will to all the fools who get a hard on at the mere thought of burning a sorceress at the stake. Where is he? I don't know, fool. I've been looking for him since Foltest's assassination. Letho cheated all of us. We were deceived by his dull face and sluggish stare. Don't you understand? The Lodge sought a way to get rid of Demavend, that's true. He was a weak, volatile king. Edern would eventually choke to death under his rule. We chose the lesser evil. He had to be eliminated, and Letho happened to be at hand. Voltest? Henselt? We had nothing to do with that. After assassinating Demaven, Letho used our gold and magical support to find and meet Yorve. The elf was to help him hide until the matter blew over, or so I thought. The Lodge did not condemn Voltest to die. Then who did? Nilfgaard. Letho is the King of Liars and Emperor of Traitors. From the start, he worked for the glory of the Great Sun and the White Flame dancing on the graves of his foes. He lied to everyone. Me, your vet, your stupid little Triss. And you. Got any evidence? A moment ago, I received a message from the Lodge's agent in Sintra. The Imperial Army is on the move. They're fording the Yoruga now. Do you think the North can defend itself in the current situation? And can you count on another miracle at Brenna? I don't know. But you made it all possible, and you'll answer for that. The stigma of treason is yours for all time. We shall see. For no one will leave this city alive. No one will tell this story. Philippa controls the dragon. As soon as I disappear, it will turn the city into a flaming tomb. The dragon attacked Foltest's troops during the siege of Lavalette Castle. That hardly supports your tale. We did not control it then. We may have lost a battle, but the war is just beginning. You, however, shall not take part in it. This is your end, Witcher. Farewell! Something's not right! The diamond! Someone replace the diamond! This one's flawed! I'll be torn to bits! Geralt, remove it! You waited long enough. Should you survive, go south, to Nilfgaard, where you'll find Yennefer of Vengerberg. Farewell, Witcher. Take that.